Today I just want to go over the for loop really quickly. So I had gotten this project uh, ready ahead of time, and we can see I've got this script tag that points to app.js in that root directory. So to make sure everything is working, I could console log hello. If I refresh this now, we see hello. Great. So the basic for loop will always start off with four, and we will start i at zero, i for iterator, and we will check to see if i is less than 10, we'll say i++, plus plus, and then open up this block of code. So let's finish it with just a console log that says hello. And we're expecting this to say hello 10 times now. So if I refresh this, we see 10 hellos. And let's change this to i so we can see what the iterator is. When I refresh, I have iterators at 0 all the way to 9, but not including 10. If I wanted it to include 10, I just say less than or equal to. Because at some point, i becomes 10 and it's checking to see is 10 less than 10? That will not render a true statement. So we want to make sure when 10 is less than or equal to 10, still run this console log. So let's refresh it. And now we can see we start at 10. So this for loop. This is generally how it ends up looking, but keep in mind, like, make sure to break down the pieces, because if I set 0 to 5 and refresh this, now we can see it goes from 5 to 10, because it starts at 5. Great. So how can this be useful to us? This becomes really useful when we have an array. So let's uh, let array equal, and we'll create an array uh, with a bunch of emojis in here. So let's go ahead and grab this one. one and we'll add one more for good measure here and let's go ahead and save this so now I want to make sure that I'm going to change this back to less than and let's access the length with this array so I'm going to say r dot length I plus plus so let's refresh it and see what we get oh let's make sure that I starts at zero now refresh it and from zero one and two that's important because if we're looking at index item zero, that's going to be this emoji face. If we look at, at uh, index one, that's going to be the second item, and then two, the third item in here. So that means we'll be able to say console log array and then add that iterator in here. When we refresh, now we can see that we're looping through our emojis. Great. Another that could be really useful for us might be the while loop. So let me go ahead and create a count, and I'm going to set that at zero right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say while count is less than 10, let's first say count plus plus, and then console log count. And what we see is something very similar. What we are seeing is this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10. Great, but when the while loop does come in handy is when we want to do something a little bit, a little bit trickier. What I might want to say is let continue equal true. Oh, so continue is not a word I'll be able to use. Uh, let um, run program set to true. And what I'm going to do is I'll say while run program is true, what I want to do is run a confir uh, confirm. So let's say confirm would you like to continue? And let's save that to a variable. Bar, uh, let's say let choice equal confirm would you like to continue let's give us a little bit more space and then what I'm gonna do is I will say if choice is false 
what I want to do is set road run program to false. Run program equals false. And then what I'll do when I get to the very end, I'll console log the program has ended. So when I save it, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh right now, and it says, would you like to continue? I'll say, okay. And it says, would you like to continue? I'll just keep going because it's waiting for me to cancel. And then it'll say the program has ended. So the while loop is a pretty good, is a pretty neat one for us to know as well. All right, great. I hope this helped.